guys, Full Throttle 440 here. Today I'm going to start uh, taking the front end sheet metal apart so I can get to the heater box. I'm going to rip that off and I'm going to uh, cut out some uh, sheet metal pieces so I can weld them in the hole. I think there's three holes. There's a round hole and there's two um, square sort of shaped holes. I'm going to fill those in and weld them up nice, smooth them out, and paint them just so I can have a nice smooth firewall up there because I don't use the heater I, I don't drive the truck when it's cold out so there's no need for it and it'll look a whole lot cleaner without it the heater box is removed a lot of people probably disagree with me for uh, what I'm doing right now, but it's my truck and my personal taste in things. So uh, I'm going to start by cutting out um, three pieces that are going to fit right there. The hardest one's going to be that circle uh, right there, and then we got these two here, and just weld them up solid and grind them down, coat a filler, and uh, it looked like there was never a heater there. I'm going to start by uh, cutting out some cardboard pieces that fit in the holes and then I'm going to uh, put that cardboard onto this and trace them out here, cut them out, and get them tacked in there. Now this is where it would be nice to have a metal band saw. Then I gotta come over here and uh, cut off these studs where the heater box would mount to and grind all these surfaces so I can weld to them and weld up these holes where these uh, studs are. Got everything cleaned up that needs to be cleaned up and all clean so, uh, so I can weld on it. I gotta fit those pieces up and uh, trim them so they fit nice and nice and tight. Alright, the first piece I got on there with magnets. I'm going to tack it on, move to the next one, tack it on, tack them all on first, and then uh, go around and weld them all up. There they are, all tacked in, looking good. Real happy with how that's coming along. I just gotta cut a little tiny piece for that hole right there, and maybe the one above it, and then weld everything up solid. Weld up these little holes where those uh, studs came through. Uh, smooth everything down. Alright guys, all the welding and grinding is done, and I'm really happy with the outcome. I kept it cool, and uh, you can see it's pretty darn straight. Only had a little bit of warping on this piece here, which a little bit of uh, hammer work took care of that. But now I'm ready to apply some filler couple thin coats should do it and it'll disappear. Well there's the first coat and maybe the only coat. I'll probably find some uh, 
little imperfections um, and have to put on a second coat. Well that tire has reached the end of its useful life but anyway I got a coat of paint on this I'm really happy with how it turned out you wouldn't even know there was a heater box there at one point in time I like it I wish the lighting was better these fluorescent lights don't do good don't do so well in the cold and it is freezing out today really really cold so I'm gonna go in the house and edit this video for you guys thanks for watching see ya